All right, so the first episode of Miss Marvel has finally dropped on Disney Plus, and I gotta say, it was quite good. All right, so right off the bat, I want to say that I was going into this with mid-tier expectations. You know, I'm not super familiar with the Kamala Khan character. I do, however, have a lot of faith in Kevin Feige and the team over at Marvel Studios to give me something that's at least somewhat entertaining. And I gotta say, this was quite entertaining. I am shocked, actually, at how much I really, really liked this first episode. I gotta say, the best part of this first episode, and I'm going to assume will probably be the same for the whole series, is the family. The family dynamic is wonderful. Now, I obviously have not grown up in the same culture that she did, but I am very familiar with that same type of mom, that same type of dad, that same type of sibling. I have had friends with very, very similar mom. It is wild. Anyway, the point is the fact that a lot of different cultures all tend to have the same experiences growing up. She has very similar experiences in high school that a lot of people have. And it was refreshing. It was very much like what I would have assumed we would have gotten kind of with a Peter Parker in terms of the high school stuff. And we kind of got that. But this one seemed a little more fleshed out. And yeah, the, the family stuff. I, I don't want to get in too much detail about it. But this, this is going to be the heart and soul. I mean... This family that wants nothing but the best for their daughter, you know, and it causes a lot of tension for Kamala Khan. But you know that their intentions are true. And they love her, right? So, you know, you, you feel torn on how you should feel about her family, right? Because they're, you know, causing actual issues <laughs> for her. But they're not doing it out of malice, right? They're doing it because they want the best for her. And you find yourself struggling with whether or not you should side with them, <laughs> I guess. You know, obviously, you do side with her right but it's a little tough and then they do these things that are just out of pure love i won't get into detail but just pure love and she acts as a teenager would and it just leaves you heartbroken <laughs> you know and damn easily the best part is the family dynamic I will also say that the friendship she has with her friend Bruno, we don't talk about Bruno, but it is, I, I think there's a lot going to be coming with there. I, I, I don't know if this Bruno character is going to be some type of sidekick character. It seems like he might, you know, but I do like the dynamic that they have, the interaction they have together. They feel like real friends, which is awesome. Um, one interesting little note about this first episode is this is a comic book superhero show, right? There was no villain. There was no, well, I guess there was kind of an action scene, but there was no fight scenes. You know, this was purely about Kamala and her family and some struggles she's having 
and it was great. It was so entertaining to watch. I cannot wait for the next episode. I also cannot go without mentioning the wonderful stylistic choice that they have. Very Scott Pilgrim-esque. It's wonderful. There's, It's just really fun to look at. If you haven't seen the episode, please do. It is just for the art choices alone. It's it's awesome. It's I've heard some people say this is like a John Hughes movie version of My Big Fat Greek Wedding. But then also you throw in some Scott Pilgrim versus the world in there. And there you have Miss Marvel. And it's 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 a great description. This is very John Hughes. You know, just like what we were told the idea was for these Spider-Man movies was to be very John Hughes-esque. And I think this actually takes that to the next level. Which is great, because I love John Hughes movies. And this is also a great character to apply that to. And they did a great job. I I cannot wait for the next episode. This is, so far my favorite premiere for a Marvel show in a while. I don't know where it ranks against like WandaVision or like with Loki, but this is just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful premiere episode. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. Tell me in the comment section down below what you thought about it and leave a like on this video for more content like this and don't forget to subscribe because subscribing is the way to make sure you get to see my content. Anyway, until next time, take care.